Assalamualaikum and good day dear students. Now we look at 2.1 graphical methods. Graphical method. Graphical method is the simplest method. The given function is plotted on Cartesian coordinates and x values okay this is our roots or zeros of the equations that satisfying fx equal to zero is identified x values roots satisfying fx equal to zero provide the approximation roots for the underlying equations fx can have one or possibly many roots. Okay, so by using graphical methods, let's say we sketch our function. Okay, let's look at figure one. So by sketching this function, okay, this is a parabola or quadratic function. So we can see here, this function give us only one solution because this function touch only at one point here okay then this function or this graph give you one root okay figure two give an example for function that give us two solutions okay means that when you sketch your function so this function or the graph of this function cross the uh, x exists at two point here okay you can see here we have two roots here given by this graph okay sometime we also have function which give us many solution as given in figure three many solution so if you plot this uh, function okay you plot the graph of this function you found that we have many times the graph cross the x axis here okay so this function give us too many solutions Okay, so the idea that we get by using graphical method actually by plotting the function, we can get or we can know the roots of the function by looking at where your graph cross your x axis or intersect with your x axis. Okay, let's look at example 4. Find roots of fx equal to x squared minus 8x plus 3 by using graphical methods so in order to uh, sketch this graph okay you can either use a simple sketching means that if the function is a simple function for example here we have quadratic then you have the uh, idea or you have the knowledge about how to sketch the parabola then you can use the free sketching or you can use any uh, software or you can use uh, Excel to help you uh, plot the graph, okay, Microsoft Excel. Or you can use any algebra software, okay. Uh, for example, Maple, okay, we have Maple, we have um, MATLAB, for example. Or you can use any uh, open source, okay open soft uh, graphical sketching graphical software okay which you can access from the uh, google for example so in order to plot so you must to have a function here all right then by plotting the, this graph you can see that Based on the graph, the function fx cross the x axis at two points. Therefore, there are two roots 
for fx the approximate roots of fx are 0 0.364 you can see the first um, intercept or the cross of your function is between 0 and 1 so it's a somewhere between 0 and 1 and then another uh, roots is between 7 and 8 here okay so based on this graph is 7.663 Okay, for example 5, so you are given um, find roots of fx equal to cos x plus sin 3x. For x is between 0 and 4 pi by using graphical methods. Again, you can use any graphical software to uh, help you. sketch the graph all right so if you plot uh, this uh, trigonometric function here you will get this uh, graph all right so there are number of solution here okay so if you look here this uh, graph cross the x axis how many times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve for the interval zero to four pi uh, four pi Okay, the approximate roots of fx can be uh, this value here. Okay, you can get this all roots here from this point here. Okay, where your graph across your x axis or where your graph intersect your x axis. Okay, next example 6 give you the idea on how to... Uh, sketch uh, the graphical for the uh, non-linear function for this uh, application problem so this problem uh, we use the example from a uh, chapra and chanel a textbook numerical textbooks so the velocity of a free falling parachutist okay penerjun eh, penerjun udara is given as this equation we have v equal to gm over c multiply with one minus exponent power negative c over m t okay so you asked to use the graphical approach to determine the drag coefficient drag coefficient given by c needed for a parachutist of mass so m represent the mass with the value 98.1 kilogram to have a velocity, so V is our velocity of 40 meter second. After free falling for time 10 seconds, so T equal to 10 second. Okay, so we have here the value for velocity, we have here the value for T. Alright, given also gravity is 9.8 meter seconds. So we have here the value for gravity right so in order to find the um, function for drag coefficient okay so your aim is to find the function of drag coefficient means that you must to have your fc equal to zero okay so how to get fc equal to zero okay so from this uh, given function here about the velocity so you substitute all the uh, constant value and then you let your function equal to zero in order to represent this drag coefficient function here okay to determine the root of drag coefficient we need to have a function fc equal to zero Substituting the values given the equation and rearranging yield that this equation here. All right. So we substitute the value for gravity. We substitute the value for mass. We substitute the value for time here. We also substitute the value for gravity. So what we left here only, and then we substitute the value for velocity. Okay. So, by bring the velocity to the right of your equation, okay, you can see from here, if I bring a V to the uh, right, so I should have 0 equal to 
gm over c 1 minus exponent negative c over m times with t and then minus 0 so this is uh, what I have here all right okay so here is also our f c I guess uh, based on that uh, equation, so that we can plot uh, by using graphical methods. So if you use uh, Excel, for example, okay, uh, you must to choose several value of your C, okay. Let's say X here is your C, la, eh? okay. So this is uh, the several value of your C, and then you substitute into your function of. Uh, drag coefficient and then you will get the uh, values and then from these values here you can plot your graph here okay so this is the graph for f c okay so where is the roots so the roots is you look at your graph where your graph cross the x-axis so from here we found out that um, our FC graph of FC intersect at one point which is the value is between uh, somewhere around 15 okay C equal 15 so based on your data here you can see that uh, if your function give you two different sign means that when C equal to 12 you get positive value and then when c equal to 16 you get negative value then from this data also it give you some idea that when your function give you two different signs so this is where your graph cross the x axis then at these uh, roots okay between c equal to 12 and also c equal to 16. Okay, so this is the important idea later on we will use uh, for the next uh, discussion in incremental search and also bracketing and also uh, open methods where you must to uh, look at where your function give you two different signs because here it tells you that where your function across the x axis or where your uh, roots the, loco the location of your roots all right so until we uh, meet eh, until we discuss uh, the next video okay thank you